What's going on everyone, Scott Gorman here, and today I want to teach you how to build pop tags like this that Jake Paul and Gary Vaynerchuk and other influencers use in their videos to promote their Instagrams and all their social medias. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag your media to your timeline, all the media that you want to use for the pop tag. And for example sake, in this video, I'm going to delete my audio just so it's not distracting. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then take your playhead and pull it all the way up to where you want the pop tag to come in. For me, it's right there. And I always suggest that you take these pop tags and for whoever it's for, have them at the beginning of where that person's introduced because that way it's it's just fresh, you know, they introduce themselves, there's their pop tag for whether it's their Instagram, Facebook, whatever kind of social media branding you want to use it for. So now go up to File, New, go down to Legacy Title, and then just hit OK. You'll see this window pop up, and this is where you're going to build your tag. So go over to the Rectangle tool, and then just drag out a nice rectangle the size doesn't matter, the size is really up to you. It's however big you want your um, tag to be. And then switch the color from white to black, and then change the opacity to 90%. That gives it that nice little see-through feel of Instagram. And then from there, we're gonna go over to the wedge tool. Now just pull out a nice, draw a nice wedge and then we're just going to flip that wedge because that's going to be your point that is pointing towards the subject that the pop tag is going to be working off of and then you can just resize the wedge and resize the size of the uh, rectangle to whatever size it is that you're looking for so i'm just going to go up to my typing tool and then i'm going to click where i want the uh, letters to be and then i'm going to change my font to roboto for this, I like to use fonts like Roboto because it's sort of, you know, thicker, it's a thicker font, the, the letters look like something that would resemble something you'd see um, in Instagram. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the color of the font um, to white. The size should be good, but just change the color to white because then it comes out nicely on, on the, uh, the black tag. And then just go ahead and type. For this uh, example, I'm going to type out my Instagram. If you guys are interested, go check it out. I do a lot of photography there, um, and I do a lot of low-light neon photos. Um, then go ahead and just get the selection tool, drag the name over the tag, and then just resize the name, and just kind of even it in the middle, and that looks good to me. So just go ahead and exit a legacy title and on the left hand side it'll pop up in your assemblies tab and then just drag that legacy title onto your timeline and there you go you'll see the uh, pop tag pop up on your footage a nice big fat tag also going to bring a sound effect down onto the playhead so i like to use sound effects for a few reasons um, it just tells a story it helps tell a story and it doesn't just look so plain because if you were to just kind of play a video and have a pop tag pop up with no sound effect it just wouldn't look right and that's why I use sound effects um, I'd suggest trying to find something you can maybe download some off YouTube if you can find ones that are free royalty free uh, myself I like to use uh, sound effects from all over I buy a lot of sound effects that's no secret um, I actually bought uh, Peter McKinnon's sound effect pack and I'm gonna use the quick pop sound effect for this and this is what it sounds like when I move around in the video, I want the tag to kind of just follow my face and, and move with me, so to speak. And I know the way I'm going to show you this, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, why don't you just use 3D tracking? Well, I'm going to do it this way because 3D tracking can get a little complicated and I want everyone to be able to understand this. Um, the way I'm going to keyframe position with this and just kind of follow my face around, it's easy, it works and it kind of gives you that cool vlog style that people use so when they're vlogging the pop tag comes up and it's kind of rough and it's just moving around on uh, following their face and i like that so we're going to show you how to do that so from here scale down the size of the pop tag and place it on the screen where you want it to initially show up that looks good to me now let's go to the left hand side and effect controls hit the keyframe for position and then move the video three frames forward and then reposition the tag where you want it to be 
and then move it three frames forward again and then just keep doing that keep moving the frame of uh, the video a few frames forward and then just keep repositioning the tag that way the keyframe keep following that those points over and over again again so when you move in the video it'll move with your face or the subject or whatever it is you're trying to track so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the remainder of the pop tag that we don't need and then we're gonna throw a video effect on it so go down in the bottom left corner there you'll see the video effects and then go to video transitions go to the dissolves and there should be crossfade there throw that over top of the pop tag so that way you'll press play and you'll see it nicely just dissolve away. You can see it moving around on my face, really kind of rough, but it gives it that cool like raw vlog style and then just fades away nicely. And that's how you build pop tags in videos in Premiere Pro. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit those bell notifications. I will be dropping tutorial videos every single week. And again, thank you, love and appreciate you all. Have a good day.